Hey guys, welcome to Teal House Farm. We're getting ready to head out for a canning day with friends. Um, but let me show you what we're packing and we're gonna get out of here. You're gonna bring a balloon? Okay. I've got the last of the tomatoes from my freezer. Got my biggest stainless steel pot, which I think is a five gallon pot because we are gonna make spaghetti sauce today. All right, okay, we also packed a bunch of lunch things to share. We like to just set out a snack table for the kids. So I got like pepperoni and cheese sticks. They're so loud. Yogurt, things like that that we can just set out and they can grab and go while they're playing with friends. And then we have everything that we need to make lemon curd slash lemon butter, which we're going to do, and a giant box of spaghetti sauce packets because um, we're just going to use pre-mixed spices for our spaghetti sauce today instead of doing it from scratch. So let's get everything loaded and let's get out of here. Go put that in the front seat of the van. I'll, I'll carry the big box. I'm a Mikey. Mikey, carry the big box. <laughs> we get on the road. It's a nice country drive. My friend lives about 20 minutes away, so it's not too far. We do get some nice views, and it is a beautiful day. It's a perfect day to go and visit and play with some friends while the mommies get some work done. We sneak a little nap so that we aren't too cranky, hopefully, when we get there. And as soon as we get there, it's actually lunch time, so we've packed some food to share, and everybody can just kind of make plates and have some lunch. All right, we made it. Adrian has already started peeling tomatoes. So these were frozen, right? So we freeze them and then pe peels them on bowl because you can make sauce from those later. And we're gonna, we're gonna make a nice smooth sauce from the uh, peeled tomatoes. Yes, buddy. And then I brought some, what I have left over from sauce and juice making earlier this week. Okay, to get these tomatoes started, we got this giant five gallon stainless steel pot here, and we're just gonna start putting in the tomatoes that Adrian has peeled, and they will cook down. We can't fit them all in right away, but as it cooks, they cook down, we just add more to the top. It's about 40 pounds of tomatoes total. I'm gonna zest some lemons. I need a half cup of fine lemon zest. So I'm using this nutmeg zester thingy. I can't remember what these are officially called, but it makes super fine lemon. And then we also need two cups of sugar. And we're gonna go ahead and combine that half cup of lemon zest with the sugar with a rubber spatula, mix it together and let it sit on the counter for 30 minutes and just kind of let it all infuse together. This is why we do stuff like this together, because two mom brains equal one. This is complicated. Certain little people keep needing things. Okay, let's get the rest of this prepped. This is kind of a complicated recipe. We had to read it like five times to figure out what was going on. So we're gonna show you how it works. So it's less complicated when you read it. So I have one and a half sticks of unsalted butter and I'm chopping it into tablespoon chunks. And we're gonna put those chunks in the fridge so they stay super cold until we need them. And then in another measuring cup, we're gonna do one cup of lemon juice and I'm using bottled lemon juice so that we have control over the pH. It's all homogenous. If you hand squeeze the lemon, there's a chance that your pH won't be homogenous and this may not set. So that's a risk you can choose whether or not you wanna take. And then we go ahead and we crack some eggs. We need seven large egg yolks and four large whole eggs. And those are separated out. We'll save those egg whites for making omelets or something one day. And we go ahead and we whisk together our eggs and our egg yolks and then whisk in the sugar mixture. And we keep whisking until it is totally combined. And then we whisk in one cup of our lemon juice. And again, just keep whisking until it all looks totally combined. And then we're going to put it on top of a double boiler. We don't have an official one, so we're just using a pot and a glass bowl. And you add your butter chunks and you just keep stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring. We're going for 170 degrees Fahrenheit.
Adrian has this really neat like radar temperature which we used for a little bit. We could not get the heat up on the mixture so we ended up switching out for a larger pan so the entire bowl was in there and that definitely helped. We still had a lot of trouble getting up to 170. A little taste test of what came off the whisk. In order to get up to 170, I ended up having to cover it. I could not get that last three degrees, so we covered it. And then as soon as it hit 170, we took it off the heat and then whisked for five minutes. It has a real thick consistency like pudding. And while Adrian's whisking for that five minutes, I get our sterilized and hot jars out of the pot and our lids. I get everything ready to go ahead and fill those half pint jars. We need a half inch of headspace. And this ended up making four half pint jars with a little bit of reserve. So we'll can those half pints and eat that reserve today. Wipe your rims and then your lids and rings go on. Yes, Annie. It's a Mommy, try to bring it with. That mm. tastes so good. I'm good. All right, it's gonna process 15 minutes. And just to show you, we're using this just stock pot with a face cloth, a wash towel on the bottom because we're only doing four jars. And so we don't want to get, we don't need the whole big canner. So if you don't have a water bath canner, just the stock pot with a lid, and then you can put a wash cloth on the bottom to keep your jars from sitting on the bottom. Water needs to be at least two inches above the top. And time starts once it's hit a rolling boil. So 15 minutes at a rolling boil. All of our tomatoes have cooked down, so we hit them with the immersion blender to make it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna need to add our seasoning. Now I'm a bit of a cheater when it comes to spaghetti sauce. I like the Mrs. Wages pasta sauce packets and they're super easy. So 40 pounds of tomatoes, about six packs. We dump those in. We don't need to worry about adding lemon juice or citric acid. The mix already takes care of that. It does call for quite a bit of sugar. We cut the sugar in half because we don't like our pasta sauces that sweet. And it does kind of look like a witch's brew for Halloween. But we promise it's just tomato sauce. The kids enjoy playing outside in the super nice weather. We let that sauce simmer for probably about 20 minutes. Give it a taste test. During that time, our jars are out of the processor. That was 15 minutes of processing. And then our tomato sauce is now ready. This made a whole lot of tomato sauce. We did multiple canner loads. We did quarts and we did pints. We want to go ahead and fill those up with one inch headspace. As always, you want to wipe your rims with a damp cloth so that there's no pasta sauce residue on them. That'll prevent a nice seal with your lids. Our jars have all been sterilized and they've all been kept warm so that we're filling hot jars. Same with our lids. We put the rings on to fingertip tightness and then they're ready to go in our water bath canner. It was 40 minutes for the pints. And then after the first load was done, we had to head home because the kids were getting right, pretty shoot. cranky. Shoot, shoot, out of the way. And half of them fell asleep in the van. So we were extra cranky and tired when we got home. They're not going to attack me. All right, so we're back. I cooked a crock pot chicken. So that's gonna be done in just a minute. Pull some things out of the freezer and the pantry to get the rest of dinner on the table real fast. So I always keep loaves of discounted bread from Walmart. When they have it marked down to like 80 cents, they buy them and freeze them. So we're gonna throw that in the oven. Okay, we'll do some butter corn and some honey carrots. Okay, here's what I brought back. I two of these. So the recipe made four and a little reserve. And then I have these uh, spaghetti sauce. The there's still some more to can when I left, but our, my kids were starting to get kind of cranky and tired and hungry, so it was time to come home. So I think Adrian is still canning, but 
These look great and they smell great. All right, Mikey, official taste test. I'm the lemon lover, so. Mommy, mommy. I already ate it. Mommy, mommy. Do you like it? Mommy, Is it sweeter or sourer? I think it does. I think the. I think it's just the jam tastes better. I don't think it goes with this kind of bread. Mm -hmm. but I think it might go with like a sweet bread. Go for it. You like it? My turn now. My turn. Mm. My turn. Yeah. I I go. <laughs> You're not a big lemon person, though. Yeah, no, no. I did notice that this one's this is a reserve. It did not go through the canner, and it's a, it's got a pudding like consistency. The ones that went through the canner seem to have they look like they have a thicker consistency. So I will be interested how spreadable they are when they open when they're open. But this is, was very spreadable, a lot like a soft butter, and that was really nice. And I do agree with Micah that this would be really good on some sort of fruit bread like a blueberry bread or a muffin or maybe even like a toasted english muffin for breakfast all right the official taste test by daddy i don't really like <laughs> Sometimes people have like lemon bars. Uh, 